Hello, my name is Rahul. Welcome to the fourth lab experiment of digital signal processing. Today we are going to calculate the period of a signal using fast Fourier transform. First of all, let's look at what is fast Fourier transform. Fast Fourier transform is an efficient way of computing discrete Fourier transform by using some of the properties of the basis function. Fast Fourier transform can be computed using two methods. One is decimation in time method and other is decimation in frequency method. Here we are going to compute the period of the signal using fast Fourier transform by using Arduino software. Now let's look at the code. For computing the fast Fourier transform, we use an Arduino FFT library, inbuilt library, and we need to install the library before running, before stepping into the code. So here we include the library, Arduino FFT library in the code, and then we consider the samples of 1024 samples. Here initially we are given a signal, PPG signal of 750 samples sampled at 25 Hz frequency. But we consider the length of the signal, total length of the signal to be 1024. In FFT, we should consider the length of the signal of, of order 2 power m. So m must be any integer and the length of the signal must be of the form 2 power m. So here we have 750 samples and the nearest length that can be approximated is 1024. So of the 750 samples, the remaining samples are padded, are padded with zeros. So and the frequency we have taken is 25 hertz frequency, it's PPG signal. We initialize two variables, V real and V imaginary part of N, so as to store the imaginary part and real part after computing the FFT and we initialize the input uh, we also take the input signal in the variable v real of n and for after computing the fft we need to store it in the variable my fft and for calculating the maximum the maximum variables and some other variables are declared here we consider the signal length to be 750 and the remaining samples from 750 to 1024 are padded with zeros so the process is done here and then we also use a moving average filter so as to filter the signal and then the inbuilt functions that come with the FFT library are used so as to get the FFT output here FFT windowing is this command is used for weighing the signal and this command fft.compute is used for computing the FFT of the fast Fourier transform of the signal and this FFT forward does the fast Fourier transform in the forward direction which means fast Fourier transform and we also have a command FFT reverse which does the inverse Fourier transform inverse fast Fourier transform so the final signal is stored in the variable MAF and VMAC real part is stored in MAF and imaginary part is stored in VMAC now we need to take the magnitude response of the signal so we compute the magnitude response and then from the magnitude response we need to calculate the maximum value present in the magnitude response of the signal so, and then the maximum index becomes the k max value and the bpm can be calculated using 60 into k max into fs by n so up to now we found the bpm of the original ppg signal using fast fourier transform the originally recorded ppg signal consists of both the respiratory signal and the PPG signal. The respiratory signal is nothing but the effect of our, resp our uh, human respiration on the PPG signal. So respiratory signal frequency ranges from 0.05 Hz to 0.5 Hz. So we, uh, in order to get the respiratory signal in particular, we need to find out the K value from this mentioned frequency and then we need to eliminate the rest all frequencies present in the original signal. So uh, the respective K values for the given frequency range are as follows. Zero, uh, K1 equal to 1.5 to 15, 15, 15. So we need the signal only from ranging from 1.5 to 15. So rest all portions should be made to zero. So the similar procedure is followed in the code. And from here, we do the uh, 
filtering procedure and this part of the code represents the filtering uh, separating of the ppg components from the respiratory signal components and then computing the mag and then computing the maximum present in the respiratory signal so finally we get the maximum value present in the magnitude response of the respiratory signal and then we compute the respiratory rate using 60 into k index into fs by n here after after getting the uh, magnitude response of the respiratory signal we then compute the inverse for fast fourier transform so to get the original respiratory signal in time domain so so uh, this is the inbuilt fft library uh, fft command in the arduino fft library to compute the inverse fourier transform and then after plotting the results we get the results as follows the bpm using fast fourier transform is 121.58 and respiratory rate is 16.11 breaths per minute and fft of the signal plots is as follows here we can observe the two peaks and this peak indicates the respiratory signal peak and after computing the inverse fast fourier transform we get the respiratory signal as follows and similarly the results can be verified using matlab software and the similar code is written we first compute the dft of the original ppg signal and then plot it plot its magnitude response find its first maximum and then find the beats per minute of the ppg signal similar procedure can be verified using autocorrelation function also which is also mentioned in the previous video respiratory signal frequencies can be obtained by eliminating the rest of the frequency components that is making them to zero x of 15 to 738 is equal to zero and then plot, we can plot the figures and then also get the inverse fast fourier transform by uh, the procedure followed and the respiratory rate can also be obtained by obtaining the maximum in the maximum from the magnitude response of the respiratory signal and finally after getting the respiratory rate we were given the only respiration signal original respiration signal without ppg signal so as to compare our results to compute the error so we get the respiratory signal as follows and then we um, again find the magnitude response of the original respiratory signal and then find the maximum of that and compute the peak index of the original respiratory signal and get the original respiratory signal rate and the formula remains the same peak index into 10 into 60 by length of the signal and the results are as follows magnitude response of original ppg signal is this one auto correlation of the ppg signal is this one and the beats per minute using dft is 116 beats per minute using auto correlation is 115 respiration rate is 18 and original respiration rate is 18 so the results are uh, verified using the original respiration rate also the respiration signal after removing the original ppg signal original ppg signal frequency components is this plot and the original respiration signal in frequency domain is this one and the respiration signal after uh, after applying inverse Fourier transform on this respiration signal obtained in frequency domain is this plot original respiration signal in time domain is also plotted and the results are as follows in Arduino software we get the following results and in MATLAB software we get the following results and the error calculations are as follows we get an error of 5.099% using DFT in Arduino software and a 10.5% in respiration rate using Arduino software and 0.53% of error using MATLAB software in DFT and 0.0% error in respiration rate using MATLAB software.
the conclusion is that we can use DFT or FFT for filtering of the signal from unwanted or noisy component to get the desired results. So we verified one of the applications of DFT that is filtering. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it.